how much did we pay for our free laundromat? Okay, so everybody has a misconception that, okay, we, we have a free laundromat, right? Kelly yelled, stop, we saw this place. And uh, so it's a laundromat. So I, I went in, I talked to the owners, and so we came up with an agreement. And so ultimately I signed a 20 year lease, and we, yeah, 20 year lease, so uh, we have a 15 with one year uh, with a five year option, and plus, at the end of the lease, we can own this or actually in five first years. Five years. First five years, they're going to give us an option to purchase this building. So it's a really a win win for us. So there you have it. So now, when we walked into this place, it was nasty. Half the machines were working. It was dirty, grungy, old, old, nasty equipment. So what do you do next, Kelly? need to get a move on because time's ticking, time's money. So the first thing you need to do um, in conjunction with everything else, you need to have a distributor ready to go. In our case, um, we already had one. We didn't have to search for it. Um, we've been using uh, HM company, uh, Steve Millman. He's awesome. Um, so he knows what we want, what we expect. So we didn't have to search for a distributor. But if it's your first laundromat and you haven't done that, you need to do so immediately. So once you, you get that established, you need to go ahead and start demoing your laundromat. Um, these are our new equipment. Um, before that, we had to remove all the old dryers, all the old washers, and just completely gut everything, basically from ceiling to floor. Okay, now that we've demoed, um, now, now Kelly, the cost of demo is what? And the labor for construction. Now, we did this, all this in one cost. I am acting as a general contractor, a GC, which allows us to basically go shop around, find drywall people, find um, framers, find floor people, and everything else. But we have this one, one person who we like to deal with who who does it all but yet i'm i'm contracted them out to do it so uh what what what's it cost for uh construction so just the labor for construction that does not include your materials and of course we've got we have to add some things that we have not yet done so uh, we still have to have a customer service desk built um so just the labor as of now is approximately $8,500. That's just labor that does not include your materials. Now, how much have we spent in materials to date for just construction? To date, it's approximately uh, $14,000. So $14,000, does that include the floor? Yes. That okay, so that floor. includes the uh, vinyl plank floor that we're using, the LVT, which is great stuff. So basically 14000 and 8500 so far in just labor and, and construction costs and, 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 uh, and, and material, time and materials. Construction costs, so we're 14500 and 8500 Now let's talk about plumbing, what we have to do. Now, one thing we did was this was like a shotgun laundromat. So we reconf reconfigured the laundromat to make the bulkheads come this way, two bulkheads come this way, instead of having washers go across the wall, uh, uh, making them across the dryers. So with that being said, it wasn't a difficult task. So uh, with the plumbers that we use, and we have a good relationship with plumbers now, we've done this for so long. So how much did the plumbing cost to do everything? The plumbing was actually very minimum here. It was only $5,500. So it was only, only $5,500, okay. Which, which is very inexpensive, but that does, uh, they are putting a new vanity in, um, and they're putting, um, you know, new toilet. Of course, all that was in the, uh, in the cost of materials. So there you go on that deal. So uh, as far as plumbing, so now what's next? Electricity. Electric. Okay, now tell us about electric. Uh, we needed to get new LED lights throughout. We got, um, we had to run 220 to all the washers and to all the dryers. So we had to get a sub panel, we had to get some breakers, and how much was the entire cost for electricity, for electrician? Uh, approximately 15,500. So 15,500, 
give or take. And then I, I see a few things that I want him to do because he needs to run some plugs. So I'd say add, add another $800, $800 in labor, I would say, on that as well. Uh, so there you go on the electricity electrician. So um, there you have it. So uh, how, how much is the miscellaneous? You're talking about cameras. How much are cameras? Uh, cameras are approximately six thousand dollars. Okay, so six grand on cameras. Um, dumpster is about I know this one because it's about three hundred dollars a week. Um, plus they charge you to drop the dumpster. Oh, add another gosh. hundred. Um, and then and then what was the other? Uh, uh, the alarm. The alarm system and and that's uh, that's um, usually a monthly basis that you can get a good deal on the alarm system. But the you're alarm gonna, probably cost about five hundred. Yeah, alarm cost about and, yeah to install. Have all that. And then you have to get internet in here and all that stuff. You have to be, and then you need to put TVs. We didn't even think about TVs we need to put in here. That's another, I, I would say a uh, roundup number about $500 because it, got, it becomes so inexpensive. It's the, uh, it's, it's, so you need to run internet to those TVs and, and so you can put looping video or whatever you want to put on. Um, anything else that you can think of uh, for your free laundromat? And how much is the total cost that you have break, broken down there for our at, free laundromat? At a minimum of $60,000 Now you, you will need. Now you think $60,000, um, and if it, pretend that you purchased this laundromat, you would be in the hole. If you purchase this laundromat, I've seen people purchase a laundromat like this for $70,000 to $200,000. Think of the hole you're in already. No distributor is going to mess with you because you, you're not going to be able to get financing at all. Um, you have to have a lot. You have to have some money out of your pocket to show that you can do the construction cost for the uh, manufacturer or, or the, yes, for the, the distributor, so you can get funded with with Alliance or Eastern Funding or whoever you choose to get your funding with. So keep these things in mind. Uh, be uh, we'll, we'll be doing some more videos and showing you what we do, but uh, I'll show you uh, each aisle what we did to this place and, and go from there. Anything else you want to wrap up with, Kelly? No, just uh, good luck with your first laundromat, whether it be your first, second, or third. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I, I do want to say for us, um, I know you hear passive income, passive income, which for some it may be, but for us we're more hands-on. We like to um, get our hands dirty, be involved in daily operations, and one thing for us, Laundry Works is going to help us uh, eliminate collecting coins so that we can focus on growing our company even more, acquiring additional laundromats and uh, growing. And, and, and passive income. It looked like this laundromat that we took over was passive income. Because I almost, I almost feel like if you have a passive income facility you're not keeping an eye on the ball you're not you're not doing anything to make make the place better um, so I, I believe a face to the company a face face to the laundromat is very important I agree. hello so on our front row you will see these as you come in the door you will see them through the windows uh, we always like the big washers facing where people are coming in um, it will make you more money but on the first row, we have 60 uh, pound washers. And then you walk back here and you'll immediately see our 40 pound washers facing as you come in. On this side, we have 30 pound washers. So the smaller ones always face away from the entrance because you want um, the big, large washers the room between and then when you're building a laundromat you want to make sure you have enough room in between your washers so you've got two people on each row you don't want to bump one another and on the back row we end up with 20 pound washers double loaders um, these are hard mounts um, so we're excited to finally have a store with um, zero top loaders. Excited to see how that's going to pan out. Um, first store again with all cart only, Wanda Works. 
Over here, um, you have our dryers. This is a little different than we normally do. We have the stack washer dryer combo. On the uh, top, you have uh, your dryer, 30 pound dryers. On the bottom, you have your 30 pound washers. Um, we implemented this so that we could add additional machines with the room we had. And then you'll see going all the way down, um, we have 45 pound dryers. Um, each one, again, uh, equipped with launder works. Um, we do have a mess here, so we'll show you the <laughs> <laughs> final uh, video when everything's installed and when our bulkhead covers come in and um, everything's done. So we're excited. So we'll hopefully be there within just a few weeks.